Hey guys, this is Nino from Nino Sport, man. I'm just gonna try and make this video short and simple. I just wanna address some little thing that has just happened like an hour ago. Uh, a grandmother of one of my friends just called me to tell me that the guy's been stealing the money to buy FIFA points. But what 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 this game has become it's it's embarrassing to us because i'm the one who introduced the game to the guy he started playing fifa with my own fifa then he decided to join fut so now because he did this i'm part to blame uh, his grandmother feels like i knew all along this thing is going on but unfortunately I'm not playing FUT. I hate FUT myself. The guy has been stealing his grandmother's money for some time. His grandmother's savings, for God's sake. For some time now. Just so that he can buy FIFA points. So that he can be competitive. So that he can pack Messi. He can pack Ronaldo. The same guy was complaining to me about the game being stripped uh, sometimes you cannot win games that you you deserve to win you dominate the game but you just cannot win it you can see that it's scripted it's made like that that you cannot win whatever you do you cannot win it but the same guy is taking the money is buying packs where is the sense in that it doesn't make sense to me I'm sorry, but that's stupid. It's purely stupid to me. Then I ask myself, why are we complaining that this stuff is banning us, but we are still putting both hands on the same stuff that is banning us? You, you crying out loud, screaming, the stuff is banning you, but you can't move your hands on it. Come on, move your freaking hands on it, then get rid of the damn stove. But people complain about EA, um, the game is scripted, this and this, that and that. But you still pay a whole lot of money to pack Messi and Ronaldo. Why don't you just quit it? Okay, if you wanna play FUT, I don't mind if you play FUT, use your, the, the, like, the FIFA points. Don't use your own cash, bro. And don't steal from your parents. Like, it's sad because some of us will introduce the, this game to the little kids in our neighborhood. We are the ones who introduced it. Some of them, they didn't know anything about FIFA. But then, right now, they know a whole lot. Some they know more than me. Because they know a lot about FUT, of which I know nothing about. And I don't even want to know things about that thing. Because I hate the game mode. It came and destroyed the game completely. It came as the money-making machine. And now the game is more like that. It's a money-making machine. Because uh, if you look at career mode, pro clubs... All the game modes that are like um, not generating more money for EA are neglected. Look at career mode. When was the last time you see the changes in career mode? Don't tell me that last year they did changes by introducing uh, the press conferences. That was long overdue. How many times we asked for that thing? Even those um, press conferences are broken as hell. You can tell that they didn't even put effort in doing it. They were just doing it for for few people to say, okay, let's shut them up so that they're not going to talk too much. Let's just do this for them. Okay, it's fine. We still buy the game. We still play it. Uh, the only thing that we're complaining about is that we are paying a whole lot of money to buy it. That I don't think... It deserved that kind of money, but we are paying it. We complain about that only. What about you? You want to pack Messi every 
every month because as far as I know, there are so many Messi's and so many Ronaldo's in that game now. Come on, guys. There's only one Messi in football and there's only one Ronaldo. Can't you think? Why are they, like, releasing different Messi's and different Ronaldo's? After one month, there's a Champions League Ronaldo. There's what what Ronaldo. For God's sake, there's only one Ronaldo in football. If you pack one Ronaldo, then go. Stop packing the whole team of Ronaldos. You want to pack this one, sell this one, pack this one. Come on, man. It doesn't make sense. Can't you see that they are just taking money from you? Can't you think? The guy that I'm talking about, uh, his team was not even that good. So I just wonder how much money it's needed to have a good team but he even showed us the proof that he was buying these things but really i think we've reached the point where we're gonna struggle to get good games for our kids i would love my kids to play fifa but with this thing i really don't think i will i, I will allow them to play fifa because uh, they're going to end up being corrupted. They're going to start stealing from me, stealing from their mom. They're going to start being a problem. Because it seems like the game is going to that direction. If they don't stop this as soon as possible, we are really going to suffer. We're going to have the world without a fair game of soccer. Because first, first of all, EA is taking all the licenses, all the big licenses, they go with them. They don't want to share them so that they can manipulate us. They do whatever they want with us. They neglect us. They don't care if we get what we want. We ask for so many things on FIFA. Like, right now you can ask for things that they should include in FIFA 20. The guy who's working, who's working on EA help or whatever, or... There's that other community, I don't even know it because I don't use it anymore. They're going to say, good idea. But then you're not going to see it. That's an unfortunate part. Sometimes they can even tell you, it's too late, but we'll consider it next year. Forget it. It's going straight to the bin. They're going to delete it and forget about it. Because everything we complain about, it's never fixed. Next year, we're expecting a total, not next year, this year, September. We're still expecting a total disaster. But guys, why are you paying so much money? Like this guy, you triggered me. He makes me think that there are so many people who are suffering out there. Who wants to pack Messi, who wants to pack Ronaldo. They are spending a whole lot of money. That doesn't mean that they're going to win anything. It's just a game after all. And EA is just sitting on top, smiling, making a whole lot of profit. I'm not dissing EA. Uh, they are just part to blame. But we are also part to blame. We're playing a part in this because sometimes we sit and watch this thing happen. So some people, they even contribute to this. They they they. they pay their hard cash to this they just promoting it to go on and on and on and on and on then the next thing you come back to us and complain that the game they, they, they haven't fixed the game the game is rubbish the game is just come on man you you, you play the part you play the part you 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 busy uh, paying for cards that are useless i just don't have a clue if the cards that you bought on FIFA 20, can you continue with them on FIFA 21 or you start all over again? If you start all over again from scratch, then probably if you pay your own cash in this game, you are a moron. Thank you so much guys for watching this and to everyone who's been hurt by this or whatever, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry.